The number you have dialed has been changed. All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to log into your Raspberry Pi without using a password. So we're going to be generating a public and private key. So the first thing you'll want to do is if we're using, we're going to be using Putty for this. We're going to go to the following website here, and I'll post a link in the description to my website for all this, but we're going to download one of these 3264-bit, so I already downloaded it and installed it. That'll install Putty and the Putty Gen that we're going to need. So once you have that installed, we'll bring up our Putty Key Generator, and I'm already SSH'd into my Pi. And you can select here the RSA, and you can let this at 2048, or if you just want to do 4096, it doesn't matter. And once we click Generate, it's going to ask us to move our mouse around here. So we'll just do that to make it a little more random. And once this is done, this will give us a public and private key. So here's our public key and here's our private key. So we're going to go ahead and save the private key to wherever you would like. So I just made a folder on my desktop and we're just going to save it here and I'm just going to call it private. But you can name it whatever you feel. And it's a PPK file. So we're just going to say save and we're just going to overwrite the one that's there. Now, what we'll do is we'll move over to our SSH uh, terminal here for our Pi, and we are just going to go and CD into the SSH directory. And it would help if we would make one. So. We'll just go ahead and remake it again, and as you can see, it already exists. So we'll just CD into this. And now that we are CD'd into it, there's nothing in there. So we just need to copy our public key over. So we'll just create a file here. And we'll go ahead and copy our public key over and we'll do a control X Y enter to save now once that is saved new session and we're going to put in the IP address of the Pi that we want to put that we put the public key on and we'll let it at port 22 then we'll go down here to the uh, data and put in the username which would be whatever you have here once that is done we'll come down here to SSH and we'll click on the auth then we'll click on browse then we're going to highlight and open up the private key that we saved once that is done scroll back up to your session we can name this whatever you would like I'm just going to call it tester then click save once we are done with that disable SSH config here we need to disable a line in the following uh, folder and if you want to search it you could do a control W and we can just search out what we want to try to find if you don't want to look for it and right here it is so we need to remove the hash and change the yes to no then we'll just do a control X Y and enter again and after that we'll just do a simple reboot and we'll let that reboot alright so now that we're back 
I'm just going to go up here and click on a new session. And now that we have our setup saved here, all I'm going to do is just double click on the tester, or you can just go down here and highlight it, then click on open. And there we go. We are logged in with no username using the, well, no password using the public and private key. So hopefully this helps out. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one.